Well, if you've ever huffed and puffed your way up the stairs or worried that you've wasted too much of your life chowing down, down on cheese balls or chocolates, we've got some good news. You can give your life a do-over. Take a look. Let's face it, we all make poor health choices that affect our bodies over time. But what if we could erase those choices and get a second chance at total body wellness? Dr. Michael Roizen is one of the most well-known and respected doctors in America. As the chief wellness officer at the Cleveland Clinic, he says it's not too late to reverse the damage from years of bad health choices. In his newest book, This Is Your Do-Over, he shares seven strategies to get you on track to living your healthiest life. And our friend, Dr. Michael Roizen, is back with us. Dr. Roizen, welcome to the 700 Club again. Great, great to be here, Wendy. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's get started. So let's go over some of your do-over deeds. Uh, you start with nature's best friend, which is the buddy system. Tell us about that. Right. So when we looked at 60 million people have done the real age test, and 18 million of them keep coming back and have gotten, made themselves younger, made their real ages younger, the key, we asked them what their, their key things were that they were able to do. And the key was to have a buddy. Hmm. That is someone to call. <laughs> this is a large cell phone, but it's to remind you to call. So you don't need but to carry this around. This is just need, symbolic you that you need a buddy. Thing, but you need a buddy. <laughs> yeah. And selecting the buddy was key. That is, sometimes it isn't a spouse. It's a friend. It's someone who's willing to, if you will, keep you get, accountable. Keep you accountable, exactly. But also be positive and give you energy. So if your buddy is someone who said, you had a bad day, I should bring over some margaritas. That's the wrong buddy. <laughs> or if, you, if, 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 <laughs> if, if your buddy says, you just had a whole package of those brownies and you didn't save me any some, <laughs> that's the wrong buddy, okay? So there are uh -huh. tips in there on how to select the right buddy, and that's key. That was key for mm -hmm. all the people I work with as well. How do you stay accountable, positive, because Food is too good. Our couches are too good. Mm. We need someone to help us. Yes, we do. Well, there's another positive aspect towards relationships from a chemical standpoint. And you talk about the power of dopamine in our brains. Let's talk about that. Right. Well, let's go to the video if we okay. can. So what's happening is in our brains, we have release of dopamine when we get high or when we get something. So we're showing the electrical signals of the brain and that orange stuff released at the end of that nerve mm -hmm. is dopamine. And so when you have sugar cookie or something like that, it releases that dopamine. And initially you can do with a little of it, but then you want it more and more because your nerve cells get resistance mm -hmm. to it. So you want it more and more and more. And in fact, it just doesn't even just stay in that one neuron, you, as you develop habits, develop new pathways, new connections. What gives so, us dopamine, like a cup of coffee, ice cream? Anything that gets you high, that gets you feeling high. So sugar is one of the things. For smokers, but probably nicotine. It is nicotine. It is also, mm -hmm. friends can give you highs. So what you want is to build those new pathways. Oh, and pathways. when you're in love, when you're in love, you get a lot of dopamine. You're in love, you get oxytocin and dopamine, <laughs> and those help that connections too. And it actually is your purpose in life is the best high. Mm. So you want the high, right. but whether it's your purpose is a spiritual one, or my purpose is, you know, is teaching people about medicine. And, you know, I get high from, I was on the plane last night coming here. Right. And... The person next to me was, had six sugars with his coffee, and I oh said, my. "You're not." And he said, "I have type two diabetes." So I t started talking to him. Well, someone else heard me, and as I was getting off the plane, mm. it was someone who had watched the program, and said, "You changed my life. Thank you." Because wow, and that obviously both being able to change lives and and being thanked for it that gives me a high. So it is being able to explain things like on this that program is, is what I get my. Eyes from. So good, so good. Well, next you say we need to have a devotion to motion, and and you you wear some watches that actually uh, monitor the steps you take every day. How many right. steps do we need to take a day? So the key is ten thousand steps. So I have a Fitbit here and a Garmin, and the one I've used all along is an Omron. <laughs> and if you notice, I don't go to bed. I don't know if they can see this close enough, but I don't go to bed without ten thousand steps. Wow. And the reason is because 10,000 is a magic number. We have no idea why it is. I didn't mm. just 
use it because it's a good lottery number or something. I use it because it breaks down insulin resistance. So 8,000 isn't 80% of 10,000, it's about 40%. Mm -hmm. So 10,000 is a magic number. 12,000 doesn't get you any more health benefit than 10,000. It breaks down insulin resistance. Yes, and so it actually is, is something that really helps us with a major you're, problem. You're not talking about like stopping everything and going out and taking a three, two mile walk. You're talking about walking through the day, you know, walking up the stairs, uh, you know, walking at work. Taking the stairs exactly. at work. Parking further away. Yeah. So I park at the farthest place I can, which is in, in our parking lot, still in the parking lot. But I, so you get a few extra steps. What you want to do is build to that 10,000 and hold yourself accountable. And that's why you have the buddy to help hold wow. you so accountable. Every step counts. Now, you also say there are five food felons. What are they? Right. Well, they imprison you. Mm. So you should arrest, ban, and imprison <laughs> oh, them. No. So there's simple sugar. Okay added syrups, and simple carbohydrates. That is non-100% whole grain. What those do is they raise your blood sugar too much. Mm. It is the level of blood sugar, the height of the blood sugar, that changes proteins. So we measure hemoglobin A1C when we're measuring, when we're monitoring type 2 diabetes. All that is is a normal hemoglobin with a sugar stuck at the A1C position. That sugar inhibits that hemoglobin from its normal function, releasing oxygen. So it's what gives us nerve pain. It's what gives us mm. ulcers. So Ooh. it's really important not to have too high a blood sugar level, and you don't want to wait till you've got it. You want to do it in advance. Well, the other two food felons, trans fat, right. which poisons our receptors, and saturated fat, four-legged animal fat, two-legged animal skin and palm oil, those things change the way your genes function right. so they make inflammation in your body. I want to get to this real quick because a lot of us have food addictions. We're either addicted to sugar or coffee or something. How do we break these addictions and get our neurotransmitters rearranged? Well, you're exactly right. So we have those new pathways, which is what habits get. So the only way you can break a habit is to get another habit. So instead of that, if you will, here's one of the habits is diet soda or mm. sugared soda. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, why it is so bad is it both changes your brain wiring, but it also changes your bacteria. So whether it is red meat or that sugar substitute, you know, see those purple bacteria are going to change. And as they change, they produce different proteins you absorb those different proteins, and they cause inflammation. Mm. Gene changes do that, too, and saturated fat changes the genes that does that. Well, you also talk about the power of optimism, but folks are going to have to read the book because we're out of time. Dr. Roizen, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Wendy. And uh, Dr. Roizen has more great tips on healthy living in his book. It's called This Is Your Do-Over, and it's available nationwide. Dr. Roizen, it's always a pleasure. God bless you. Wendy, it's a privilege. <laughs> God bless you. Really.